Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd talking to you about episode three of Star Trek Discovery and one that uh, I have kind of mixed feelings about. When it comes down to it, uh, the first two episodes, which were nonstop action, have gone to something that is a considerably bit more introspective. And in fact, uh, the whole episode is about connections. The connections between Saru and Tarina, uh, the connections between uh, Book and the Captain, the connections between Gray and Adira, uh, the connections between uh, Raymer and the rest of the crew. And all of this is a bunch of stories, honestly. Part of it is, of course, the search. They're looking for the next thing and another connection which uh, Dr. Culber is merged with the title character Janal who is one of the former host of a symbiote uh, on Trill and uh, through a Faltor pan, which is what the Vulcans do to move their soul from one body to another. Uh, this actually is uh, similar and they've done it before on Deep Space Nine, I understand, and also I think last season on um, on uh, on Discovery when they were moving Gray from being um, inhabiting basically uh, Adira's body to this golem. Anyway, uh, all of this uh, is is still referring to connections. And so uh, this uh, opportunity to uh, uh, give Wilson Cruz an ability to stretch his acting uh, is good. It's a, He makes a, a different character, an interesting one. And the whole exercise, though, was kind of ridiculous when it comes down to it. Uh, the cloaked monster the uh, it does have a certain Roddenberry-ish thing where uh, the monster was just trying to protect its young kind of echoes of the Horda uh, and uh, their uh, dealing with it of course was to try to make connections rather than to uh, just phaser it out. I didn't like the end of it. I'm not going to give that away but I didn't like the end of it. I think that that was unlikely that would have been a useless thing to do anyway, but they'll get away with it because they need to continue the story. Nevertheless, um, I, I think that uh, there were a couple of good lines in there. I loved uh, Jet Reno meeting with uh, Rayner, who uh, said, uh, usually when I do these things, I get chips. I thought that was just a very funny line, and uh, uh, her dead deadpan way of delivering it was uh, just uh, hilarious to me. This was kind of a connector episode. It was kind of necessary to keep the story going. Uh, in and of itself, I wasn't terribly entertained by it. Uh, I, we get to know a little bit more about Rainer. Uh, he's kind of a jellico type. He's a get down to business kind, is not going to work too hard to try to buddy up to people. That's not his style. And okay, a lot of people hated Jellico in the uh, TNG episode. Uh, I thought he was a good captain. And in fact, uh, despite the fact that he was a little harsh, I think the reaction to him was kind of juvenile. This is the one time when I thought uh, Riker was overplayed as being a, well, you're not Picard, therefore you're nobody. Uh, it, it was like throwing a, throwing a tantrum. And in, in this episode, it's, uh, it's Tilly that's taking on that. Well, you know, we're all a bunch of, of uh, you know, hugging people, and, and you're out there giving them 30 seconds and 20 words to, to describe themselves. And uh, that's just not the way this crew rolls. Well, you know, this is Starfleet, despite the fact that Rainer only had 30 seconds and 20 questions, uh, 20 words with these people. Uh, he uh, was able to retain a great deal about all, all the ones that he mentioned. And uh, I think that he is going to have a pretty good knowledge of the crew and their capabilities, interestingly, uh, but uh, just not outwardly look all of that um, hospitable. 
So uh, we'll see where that goes. And if it makes any difference at all, I think that it may be just uh, uh, if there's anything in here, that's uh, that's probably it. Uh, I, I'm not crazy about the whole idea of Gray and Adira meeting with each other and then saying, well, we're going to call it off. Uh, you know, I, it, it sounds a little teenagery to me, but, uh, you know, maybe that was uh, what they were trying to uh, to put forward on that. You know, relationships are difficult and they can, if you don't work at them, fall apart. And, and perhaps that's what they were trying to say there. And, and they reiterated that with uh, Saru and Tarina. Uh, Tarina puts very... Uh, matter of factly that uh, there is always going to be conflict in relationships and how you work through them is what makes them work and I thought that's pretty good I, I will uh, I'll give Trina the point there no wonder she's the uh, president of Nuvar so I suppose what I want to do is uh, give this a gentleman see it was okay it was pretty good uh, it was just not uh, it was terrible but it wasn't anything that makes me say hey you need to watch this so that's that's where I find uh, this episode called Janal, and I hope that um, you will be along to uh, see what we have to say about the one we have next week. Um, also dropping today is a, a review that we have on this uh, new show that's just uh, come out on Amazon Prime called Fallout, and uh, we'll talk about that today, and uh, then um, we'll go back to our regular run on Monday of Babylon 5, Deep Space 9, and The Bad Batch, and then back here next week. So please subscribe if you have not done so already. Leave me comments in the, uh, in the space below. And until next time, don't go far. <laughs>